would say there's sometimes overlap when we get things right between economic science and economic engineering, where the academics in their ivory towers are working on models and think things will happen a certain way and give policy prescriptions based on how things are supposed to happen. And then the policymakers go and actually implement that policy and you get the results that you expect. That's, that's the desired for outcome, um, but it only happens sometimes. Um, and there are a bunch of reasons for that. I think one is that we live in a really complex world um, and a lot of economic science assumes that we have pretty simple systems. And so um, often the complexity in the actual world means you end up with results that theorists don't really understand. Um, I also think that if you look at the individual actors, um, the theorists have to make assumptions about them um, and often they're wrong. Uh, so you have to consider that actors are pretty complex beings as well and that they interact with each other. So there are things like social networks that economic theorists don't really know how to model all that well or haven't incorporated into models all that well. There's behavioral economics, which again, assumes that everyone's not rational, but there are all kinds of irrational decisions that people make. And then they you know, transmit them to one another. Um, and so I think the theorists don't do a fantastic job of of appreciating how much of a constantly evolving sort of organism the system and the actors in it are. Um, they have to necessarily simplify in order to model. And so when that's the case, often you'll come up with policy prescriptions and policymakers will go and do what they're supposed to do and it, it won't work out.